I'm Santoshi, working as an assistant professor in Laksha Institute of Technology and Sciences in the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Today I'm going to give a lecture on the power electronic devices, that is introduction to power electronic devices. So it's a course which relates with, is the only course which relates with all the electrical engineering disciplinary subjects. It's a course which relates with circuit theory, it's a course which relates with electrical machines and it is a course which relates with uh, control systems and it is a course which relates with analog electronics. In the electro, ele analog electronics we are having the two concepts also related with these power electronics. There is a digital electronics and also the electronic device and circuits and it also relates with the microprocessor and microcontrollers. And before that what is meant by power electronics? So power electronics means the power electronics. Before that, first of all, what, what is meant by power electronics? So power electronics means we are controlling the power. In the electrical parameters, the power can be represented as the product of voltage and the current, which can be uh, controlled by using these electronic devices. Why we have to control this voltage and current or why we have to control this power means in order to obtain the desired output and to improve the system performance of our requirement, we have to use these power electronic devices. Nowadays, the power electronics plays a very vital role in the industrial applications and is also placing very vital role in domestical applications also. So the power electronics means the power can be controlled by using the power semiconductor devices or the electronic devices in order to obtain the desired output and to improve the system performance. So now these power electronics are classified into six types based on the nature of the current. So how we are classifying these power electronics and what are the applications of power electronic devices we are going to see in this session. So coming to the power electronics classification, mainly it is classified based on nature of current. So actually we are having the systems of AC systems and the DC systems. So the system conversions, depending upon this nature of the current, we are going to have some conversion devices. So the first one is we are having the conversion is AC to DC. That means we are having the input is the fixed AC and the output is we have to require is variable DC. For that conversion, we are going to place a power electronic device which we are calling it as phase control converters. Phase control converters are the devices which are going to convert fixed AC to variable DC. That means the input we are considering is a fixed AC and the output we are going to require the loads are DC, variable DC. And by using these phase control converters, we are going to control this fixed AC to variable DC. And for these applications, that is for the phase control converters, the applications are general real time applications is mobile chargers. And it can also be used for the controlling of DC excitations and for controlling of DC drives. And the second conversion is we are having is DC to AC. That is, if we are having the input maybe of either AC or it may be the DC. So if we consider the input is DC, which is of fixed DC, which converts the requirement of load is of AC, then it has to convert DC to AC. And for that conversion, we are going to place a power electronic device, which we are calling it as inverters. So inverters are the devices which are going to convert fixed DC to variable AC by varying voltage and as well as the frequency. Why we are considering the frequency means as we are considering the AC systems, that means the load is of AC type, we are going to have the main parameters is voltage, current and also the frequency. So we have to control, we have to convert fixed DC to variable AC by varying voltage or we can vary by current or by varying the frequency. And coming to the applications of these inverters are uninterrupted power supplies, that is UPS or we can use for speed control of induction motors or we can use for speed control of secretous motors. And the third one is, the third conversion is DC to DC. In this we are having the fixed DC as an input and the load requirement is of also the variable DC. 
For that conversion, we are going to place the power electronic devices choppers. The choppers are the devices which you are going to use to convert fixed DC to variable DC by varying the voltage. Here we are not considering the frequency. And the applications of choppers are, uh, the choppers main applications are uh, sub uh, trolley cars are tramways and is also used uh, for DC chargers. And the fourth conversion and fourth one is and the fourth conversion is AC to AC converters. Fourth one is AC to AC converters. In this constant we are going to have the two power electronic devices depends upon the frequency. So first constant if we are going to have the free voltage is fixed AC and the output is variable AC without changing in frequency. The requirement is without changing in frequency we have to convert fixed AC to variable AC then we go for AC voltage controllers. And the application of AC voltage controllers are the general examples are the fan regulators and these are also used for speed control of uh, induction motors or we can also use for speed control of synchronous motors. If we consider the same fixed AC to variable AC by varying the frequency, then we go for cyclo converters. The cyclo converters are the devices which are going to convert fixed AC to variable AC by changing the frequency. By varying the frequency and by varying the voltage, we are going to convert fixed AC to variable AC. The major difference between AC voltage controllers and the cyclo converters are the frequency. And these cyclo converters we can also represent as the frequency changes. And these are the power electronic devices which are having in entire power electronics. So based on these power electronic devices only we are going to uh, up control the industrial applications and we can also control for domestic applications. And for entire these power electronic devices the main heart of the power electronic elements are the power semiconductor devices which you are calling it as SCR or the thyristor which can be uh, discussed in the next session. Thank you for giving this opportunity.